Hello guys, good evening. Okay, let's see. Uh, 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 Marlon, Jonathan, hello, good evening. How are you? Okay, let's see. Good evening. How are you, mister? How's everything? Fine, fine. And you? Okay. I'm just fine, just fine, you know, here. Ready as usual. Ready to start. And tell me, how was yes. your day? Um, fine. And um, in this moment, boring. Algunos momentos aburrido. Really? Why? Didn't you work today? Yes. Because in my work, I don't, I don't have my, eh, por decirlo así, no tengo lista mi unidad. Do you say? Your unit? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I don't have my, my unit in this moment because um, I, como decirlo, No sé cómo mencionárselo. Ok, explain it to me. Explícame. Es que lo que pasa es que por el transporte de las... Eh, yo soy un supervisor de producción. Okay. Entonces, por el transporte de las máquinas, todavía no hay... Eh, no tengo todavía la unidad. Oh, okay. No han llegado. Oh, got it. Uh, they... Haven't, they haven't been delivered. Got it? Yeah, oh, okay. They haven't been delivered. Got it. Okay, well, that's interesting. So when are you expecting them to be delivered to you? Um, expectativa. Where do you, ex when do you expect, cuando esperan? The delivery oh, of the machines. The, the process is tardado? What do you say tardado? It takes long. Uh, it takes long? for two months. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, gosh. So in the meanwhile, you're going to be like, just waiting. Yes. Okay, what, that, what type of machine are those? Uh, what type? What type of machines? Yeah. Typical machines. Eh, son de ruedo eh, de hem and close hem and close okay. eh, mangas ¿Cómo es? Yeah. Uh, sleeve close sleeve sleeve okay interesting okay so no, let's hope they get I don't know if you want them soon or what no sé qué esperamos si que lleguen pronto o no eh, por el trámite de Ministerio de Trabajo. Oh. Más que todo trámite. That's the delay. Yes. That's the delay, I'm sorry, the delay. Okay. That's interesting. And thank you very much, Mr. Welcome. Let's see, Carlos Antonio. Hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. I'm okay. Good evening. Good evening. And tell me, how was your day? I was a little bit busy because I oh, really? had work. I have work all day, like Gosh. usually. Yeah. I'm a little bit tired. I can yeah. imagine it. Uh, but is tomorrow a, a day off for you or not? 
I think so, but they want they want us work maybe like half a day. Okay, that's extra pay. I don't think so. They they don't pay good, but they have to uh, give us a day off. They but they don't they don't care. That's my other thing. Yeah, sometimes the companies are like that. Yeah, maybe for the policy that they have. Yeah, yeah, but still, I mean, according to the law, mm -hmm. it's uh, according to the law, it's a day off. According to the law, I know. Delivery. Yeah. So mm -hmm. if you work on uh, on a holiday, uh, supposedly the company has got to pay you extra. Extra money, right? Yeah. I will see. I just Let's need to wait so. until tomorrow. Yeah, well. Welcome to the class, mister. Nice having you here. Thank you. I appreciate that. I'm so Let's excited. See. Excellent. Antonio, hello. How are you? Antonio Rodas, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? No, I'm great, teacher. I'm great for for the moment. I I a little relaxed because for tomorrow is my my day off. Can you hear me? Yeah, tomorrow is your day off. Yes, tomorrow. That's nice. Yes. So what are your plans for tomorrow? Okay, what's the plan? What you gonna be doing? Uh, still I I still don't know teacher. Teacher, excuse me, I, I have a dog uh, to say to say uh, todavía no sé is I still I don't know or I still don't know. I I still don't know. Even though I the, still most don't correct, know. the most correct will be like this. I don't know yet. This one sounds better. I don't know yet. Okay. Is is more formal or or, or, or more common? It's more common. Okay. Yes, I, I don't know yet, teacher. It is it, it because I I have plan to go out with my with my family, but it depends no only me. So I am I am I am waiting for tomorrow in the in the morning. Let's, okay. hope, let's hope you got it because I mean a day off is nice, right? Yes, but I am relaxed today. For me, is I don't have problem if I stay at home. I can uh, rest. Yeah, do little things, right? Yes, teacher. Okay, well, interesting. Thank you very much. Welcome to the class, Anthony. Thank you, teacher. Oh, thanks to you. Let's see, Orlando Nunes. Hello, good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. How are you? Um, you know, here, just here. Same old story as usual. Yeah, good. Good. Um, <clears throat> for tomorrow, I'm planning with my family to go to Agua Chapan uh, because tomorrow we have a day off. Um, I talked to one friend of mine yesterday. Uh, he's from USA. He born there. And he was born there. So, yeah. Um, thank you. And he will help me with some uh, topics to improve 
uh, the language. So, great. and I asked him, I asked him uh, if he can help me with the pronunciation, because I know the accent, it will fluent in with the time. So yeah. that for me, it doesn't matter too much, but I, I told him that my goal is to learn more vocabulary to have more ideas how to speak and okay. I, actually that's a good goal yeah that's my goal right now because that's that's my problem all the time i don't have too much vocabulary in in my mind at the time when i'm i try to speak is in blind because i don't have too much words for a conversation. Too many words. Thank you for many words. Yeah, but you know, I mean, as I have always told you guys, it's a matter of practice. Don't worry, don't worry. Mm -hmm. I know it takes a little bit of time, but you'll make it. We need to be patient with that. I know that. Yeah, of course. I mean, that's, that's the name of the game, patient. <laughs> yeah. For sure. It takes a little bit of time, but you will see that sooner rather than later, you're gonna make it, you're gonna get a good command of it, and it will become something simple for you. I mean, acquiring vocabulary is also the fact of acquiring, acquiring vocabulary, it's a process. And you learn to 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 you learn to get you learn how to get vocabulary after a while to some exercises, to reading, by listening. I mean, and it's not always the same for all of us. Some of us acquire vocabulary in different ways. I mean, mm -hmm. for some people, what well, it works is to start reading. For some people, it's to start like writing. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a process and you know processes are not the same for everybody so relax you will make it on your own at your own yeah. pace but you'll see that it's it's something actually interesting yeah you're right because um in 2016 i work in teleperformance for three months and when i start to work there i remember that my listening it was not good but three months after i i started to to understand I thank you i started to understand most of the words but is with practice all the time because i taking i take uh calls all the time each day so the only way that you will learn a new language is practicing. Yeah, and and it's an exercise. I mean, it's, it's an exercise that you learn to do day after day in different ways. So don't worry. I mean, it takes time, but you'll make it. Thank you. Oh, no problem. Thank you very much to you for being here. You're welcome. Okay, let's see who else is around. Gabriel, hello, Gabriel. Hello, teacher. How are you? Uh, tired, but very, very well, teacher. Tired, but very well. Tired, but doing good. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. That's a good attitude. Tell me, uh, how was the day? A lot of work? Oh. Was there a lot of work in the company? Uh, yes. Uh, yes, there was. Yes, there was. Well, 
The good thing is that you're here in class, my friend. Don't worry. <laughs> you'll, see, you'll see that you will forget about the day when we start doing the exercises. We got a couple of very interesting exercises. Welcome to the class. I'm passing you here. No. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Who else is around? We got a bunch of people right now. Carlos Elibaldo, hello, good evening. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine, teacher. Okay, how was the day for you, my friend? Um, my day in the in the movie the the como decir de, de para acá para allá. Oh, it was a movie day. It was hectic. You can say it was hectic. 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 Oh, really? A lot of work? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And what about tomorrow? Do you have a day off tomorrow? Um, ¿Tiene el día libre? Yes. Yes. Oh, okay, that's nice. What do you plan to do tomorrow? Um, no, no lo tengo pensado, okay. You haven't decided yet. Yes, you have decided. Okay, I got a phrase for you. Tengo una frase. Yes. Give me just one second. Okay, the phrase is goes like this. Uh, um, when, oops, my bad, I'm sorry. Mm, I haven't made up my mind yet. I haven't made up my mind yet. Aún no me he decidido, aún no lo he pensado. Okay? Okay. That's the idea. I haven't made up my mind yet. So, and what are the possibilities? Like, I don't know, are you gonna go, are you planning on going visit in some relatives or something like that? Carlos. Hello, hello, teacher. Are you planning on visiting some relatives or something like that? Would that That's be not... an option for you? Would that be an option for you to go visit some relatives or something like that? Uh, no. So you are not sure yet. Okay, I get it. I get it. Well, nice having you here, Carlos. Welcome. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Which one is a phrase number? Oh, made make up your mind. Yes, it's a phrase number. Appraisal for Carlos. Let's see, Mr. Holman Sanchez. Hello, good evening. How are you? Hi. <clears throat> Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hi, Fi. Hey. And tell me, how's everything? How was your day? Uh well I I I think it was okay. I I am in vacations so I have day off and 
I think it was okay. I I was taking I was taking a rest and uh, just that uh, taking a rest and make my things and eat and just that. Okay, well, interesting. Yes, I mean, it was okay. It was okay. That's cool. That's cool. I mean, we say like, yeah, it was okay. Could be worse. Could be a third door, I mean, right? Yes. Another day on the trenches. Otro día en las trincheras, right? But we need to be with a good attitude. That's really important. Okay, guys, before we move on, I need to get the attendance. So bear with me just one second. Thank you, my just one second. Okay, here we go. Carlos Antonio Serrano Arias. Present teacher. Carlos Elibaldo Abrego Marmon. Present teacher. Thank you. Edwin Alberto Rodriguez Lobo. Uh, Gabriel Beltran Perez. Present teacher. Thank you. Gustavo Javier Ramirez Carranza. Thank you, Gustavo. Ingrid Beatriz Natalia Palacios Molina. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening, Ingrid. Ivan Petrovich Guzman Aquino. Present, good evening. Good evening, Mr. Holman Saúl Giron Sánchez. Present. Thank you. Josué Rodrigo Ortiz Monterrosa. Here I am, teacher. Thank you, Mr. Juan Francisco Echala Montano. Bridget, Carla Lizeth García Lemos. Present teacher. Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabia. I am here, teacher. Thank you. Luis Mario Criollo Guerrero. Magdaleno Escalante Orantes. Nelson Antonio Arrodas Rosales. Present teacher. Thank you. Orlando Francisco Núñez. Present teacher. Thank you. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Present teacher. Rosalina Alvarado. Vilma Chesenia Alvarenga. Wilfredo Areval Ortiz. Present teacher. Thank you. Xiomara Elizabeth Cisneros Rosales. Present. Sí, cabalito, viste. Ivania Chamilet Domínguez Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you. Marlon Jonathan Gutiérrez Girón. Present teacher. Thank you, guys. Okay. Perfect. Now let's see, guys. Let's see, I still got time for one-on-one -on -one conversations. Uh, yes, Gustavo, tell me. Oh no, I think he was just, let me do something. Okay. Here we go. Let's continue. Let's continue. Let's continue. Who's going to be next? Next, 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 next. Ivan. Hello, Ivan. How are you? You're fine, teacher. 
Thank you. Ah, uh, you know, same old story. Same. What can I tell you? Yeah, working, working. It's the same story for me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, what can we do, right? Yes. And, well, tell me, how was the day? Something new? Mm, relax. Um, and in the morning and the afternoon, uh, a lot of work. Oh, really? Well, but tomorrow you got a day off, right? Yes, yes, vacation. Okay, that's nice. Yes. Tomorrow I I I I have cut in the grass. Tengo que cortar oh, el yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's an expression for that. Okay. Okay. Tell me. You say you say it like this. Let me see. Like this. I have to mow the lawn. Uh, yeah. The expression is idiom, teacher. Mm, yeah, that's the way we say it. I have to mow the lawn. We right. Mm -hmm. How to mow the lawn? Okay. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah, that that expression is exactly that. Tengo que cortar el césped. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's too alto. It's too high. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. It's not. Uh, I. Lo bueno que tengo una máquina. Como, how do you say? The good thing is that I have a machine. Ah, the good thing I have a machine. Uh -huh. Because uh, with a. Como se dice. No es machete, ¿Cómo? What do you say? It's a tool. It's a What? tool. It's a tool. Yeah, it's a tool. Es la herramienta, right? Ah, tool. Oh, okay. That's right. Hmm. Okay, yeah, I mean, it's the tool and we have to, we have to use it. Otherwise, we get in trouble. Well, Ivan, nice having you here. Welcome. You're welcome. Let's see. Let's see. Still got time? Yes, yeah, still got time. Who's next? Wilfredo, good evening. Good evening, good evening. teacher. Yeah. I'm sorry, Wilfredo, Wilfredo. We'll talk. For sorry, I'm sorry. My bad. My bad. So, Wilfredo, how are you? Welcome. Hi. Bad teacher, bad. Why? What's wrong? Mm, my mother is sick. Oh, so sorry to hear that. Yes, teacher. Is she in the hospital or you got it? You got she is she at home? Um, now, uh, hoy la retiramos del hospital para la casa. Oh, oh, oh. De dejarla vengo. Okay, so it was a heavy day for you. Yes, teacher. Okay. I just came from dropping. Oh. I just came or I just arrived from dropping her off. Vengo de dejarlo. Acabo de venir de dejarlo. 
Okay. I just can from dropping her off. Dropping her off. Yep. Oh, wow. Now, nice expression, right? It's a new expression for you. Thank you. Oh, oh well. I, I really, really hope your mama gets better, my friend. Thank you very much, Wilfredo. Take a deep breath. We will participate later, okay? Welcome. You're welcome. Okay, Gustavo, can, can you use now your microphone? Yeah, this is good evening. I can. Okay, perfect. What was wrong with it? I don't know what happened. Yeah, sometimes the machines get kind of crazy, you know? Uh, uh, you can get a hammer, you know? Uh, that helps. No, it doesn't, it doesn't really. So tell me, how's everything? How was the day for you? Uh, the day was the same, like ever. Uh, okay, would you, would you mind telling me what do you usually do on a regular day at your job? Okay. Uh, Today was another day in the office. Uh, do the same like every day, like every day. Um, uh, what can say? Uh, cuentas. Mm. Okay, what do you do? What do you do? What's your, what's your job? Um, I I work in the office. To, uh, what to say? Cajero. Okay, cashier. Cashier. Yes. Thank you. Uh, and today was another day like like ever <laughs> yeah yeah i mean those, those type of jobs are are routine right yeah it's a routine. Okay, well. okay. oh yeah i can tell i can tell it's like taking Take the advantage of that it's time. Yeah, I know. Yeah, say hello. Say, like say, Alyssa, say hi. Hello. Hi. hi, how are you? I'm good. I'm fine. She's here to talk. Yeah, it's cool. That age is <laughs> See, Who's I think the, I, Yeah, tell me, tell me. I think the word in English is is easy for, for her. I don't know why. Well, because the the learning at that stage in your life is is through repetition. I mean, they they watch, they see, they listen, they repeat. That's how they learn. If you remember, you you told her to say, "Mama, uh, mom, dad." Through repetition, right? Like say dal, dal, dal until she said it. So now she yeah, she true. learned that she learned that that's the way from her. To really learn. <laughs> that's the way she's gonna learn. So for her it's normal. And okay. that makes it easy because she's in the stage where she doesn't question. She doesn't want to know why. She just said like she just know that that's the way it is. Period. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. And that is the thing no, why no, it's, it's easy it. for you, for her. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's normal. It's normal. Gustavo, nice having you here. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. So, bye -bye. Rodrigo Ortiz. Bye bye. Mr. Rodrigo, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Good evening, mister. I'm just fine, just fine. What about you? I am super good because I have a very nice day. Oh, really? Yes. It was a nice day today? That's nice, that's nice. Tell me, what time did you finish working today? Uh, mm, 15 minutes before eight. Oh nine. my gosh. What's your schedule? I begin, I start to work at 
two, two, two p.m. or clock. Oh, so you work from two to six, to eight. I'm sorry. Yes. Oh, okay, that's uh, yes. Uh -huh. That's right. Okay, well. But the good thing is that you are here now. You can relax a little bit in the club. Yes, I am relaxing. Yeah, you know, this class is going to be easy and fun for everybody. So, uh, welcome to the class, mister. Nice having you here. Okay. Thank you. Okay, let's see. I still got time. I still got a couple of minutes. Let's see who else is around. Marlon. Hello, Marlon. How are you? Okay, Marlon, perhaps not. Fine. Oh, there's Marlon. Hello, Marlon. How was your day? Good evening. Yeah, I mentioned it. Oh, really? Yes. And the first, the first um, person. Yes, you are right. I'm sorry. I, it's just that I didn't check your name. I got my lead. My, <laughs> I always actually what I do is this: that I try to, if I don't talk to you today, I talk to you tomorrow. But I try to have this one-on-one -on -one conversation because they also help me look in which areas I need to to reinforce. And I forgot checking your name. I'm so sorry. My apologies. Okay. Let's see, but Ivania, I am sure I haven't talked to Ivania. No, Ivania. Hello, teacher. How are you, Ivania? Come on, you look, I hear you like you are like, oh. I'm fine. Okay, tell me, how was the day for you? My, my morning was very tense. With Gork. Oh, really? A lot of activities. And tell me what time did you finish working today? What time did you finish working? And tomorrow we read. Oh, tomorrow is resting day? Yes. That's cool. That's cool, right? Well, let's hope tomorrow you can rest enough. Thank you very much, Ivania. Nice having you here. Okay. Okay, let's see. Ingrid. Hello, Ingrid. You home already or still driving? Okay, Carla. Hello, Carla. Hello, teacher. How are you, Carla? Fine. How was your day? Everything was fine today? Mm. Bien? Yes. Okay, that was nice. Yes, and it was a great day. Great. With great, great day uh -huh. with changes. Muchos cambios. Changes. No ha habido cambios. Changes. Ready? Yes. Okay, what type of changes? Um, ¿Qué tipo de cambios? Que va a haber un nuevo despacho de cobros. Oh, really? Is that good? Yes. Is bad? Oh, that's good. Mm -mm. No. It's bad. It's bad. 
Yes. Oh, so sorry to hear that. Yeah, it's because I don't, to be honest with you, I still don't understand the, your area. Mm. No sé cómo decirlo en inglés, pero este, nos van a quitar clientes y de esos clientes que uno ya viene trabajando, bueno, que ya yo trabajé y que los he venido como eh, dándole seguimiento, ya no los tengo. Entonces, oh, es como que, que, yes. es como que over. necesita comenzar de nuevo. Eh, no, es como comenzar de nuevo, a yeah, trabajar con nuevos clientes y a conocer cuál ha sido su problema y trabajar con eso. It's extra work. Yes. Entonces es un poco más como complicado. Porque es como comenzar desde cero otra vez. Yeah, it's to start over. Yes. Yeah, that's bad. So sorry yes. to hear that. Yeah, man. Yes. Well, but look at the good thing. The good thing is that you're here in class learning English. That's the good part of the day. And you go like, oh, okay, okay. Welcome to the class, Carla. Nice having you here. Thank you, teacher. No, thanks to you. Don't worry. You can, you can bend. You can bend in my class, not a problem. You know that verb? You can bend. People say ventilar, but it's like uh, let go. Okay, don't worry. Here, everybody is free. Feel free to say, like, man, today was a heavy day at work. You can ask me. Today was like, ah, uh, Actually, worst day for me was Saturday. Saturday was very heavy. You know, I had to receive classes at the university, receive classes, then teach class, then receive class, then teach another class, then have a meeting, and my day finishes like around 7 p.m., and then start working with the computer. Man, Saturday was crazy. But this is the space, this is your safe space, okay? So here, no worry, you can talk. Thank you, Carla. Welcome. Let's see, I still got a couple of minutes. Today, uh, before I move on, uh, today I'm going to present, uh, we need to start working with Hanboys, uh, some conjunctions. So I have prepared a, a PPT, a PowerPoint presentation. For the new one, uh, the PowerPoint presentations uh, I project in the class, I, I transform them into a PDF document and I send it to the group, okay? So you can keep it as extra material for review. So don't worry about taking notes. I will send you the presentation full at the end of the class. Okay? That way you can like be more concentrated in the explanation. Any question? No? Okay, let's see. I feel that. Fine. Still get that. Oscar. Hello, Oscar. How are you? Hello, teacher. How's fine, everything, fine. Oscar? Oh, that's cool. How yeah. was the day? Uh, a little busy. A little bit busy? El, eh, more or less. What did you do today? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I glass, I, I glass, este, tomorrow, um, eh, eh, free time. Okay, that's nice. I'm sorry for the for the noise, guys. I can tell you can you can listen to the firecrackers, right? Okay. 
Repeat again, please. Uh, uh, you can hear the firecracker, right? I'm sorry for that. Creo que pueden escucharlos. Como golpe. Those are firecrackers. Some firecrackers. Uh, uh, fire, no, actually, they are fireworks. Those are fireworks. Son. ¿Cómo decimos eso? Fireworks. Pólvora. Yes, it's fireworks. Yeah. Fireworks. It's fireworks. Yeah, because uh, I'm. Yeah, where I live, uh, today they start the, 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 the festivities. The ah, annual yeah. festivities. Yeah. I live in San Martín, so. And you're yeah, down. Yeah, well, actually, it's not my town. I live here, but I am not from here. I am originally from downtown San Salvador. But you know, when I decided to hang myself from the street, I mean, to get married, I moved here. Right. Yeah. That was one of the. You go to. You know. You go to my my your your wife. I don't know if I came or if I, or if I was taken here. No sé si vino o me trajeron, but I ended up here, my friend. And now I'm not able to leave, even if I want. Y ahora no me puedo ir ni queriendo. So, I don't know, but yeah, they got the festivities here. Hey, Oscar. Teacher, nice. teacher. Well, better yes. with everything for low. Everything for low, teacher. Uh, you know, I was 23. So I don't know. I don't even remember. I tried to, to erase. No, nah, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Yeah, it's it's nice. But yeah, I was I was very young at that time. Teacher yeah. Douglas. Yeah. It's not good for the man to be alone. It's necessary, Mary. <laughs> remember. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, I know. I know that's true. But Hmm. You know, there are times, there are times and times. No, it's actually good. It's good to be married, man. It's just that, in my case, remember, it's been a long while. So actually, for me, I I don't know, it will feel weird to be single again. Sería raro para mí ser soltero de nuevo. For moment, for moment, for moment, for moment, maybe, yeah. Yeah. What did you say, Gustav? Everything have their time, they time. Yeah, yeah. There's a time for everything. There's a time for everything. There's a time. Yeah, when I remember being married, I remember there's a time for crying. There's a time for I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course. And the moment comes. The moment comes. Thank you, guys. Let's see. Yesenia, hello, good evening, welcome. Yesenia Alvarenga, hello. Oh, perhaps she cannot participate. Hmm. That's something interesting. Well, later. Okay, guys. Well, let's see. Now it's business time. Uh, not all the classes are going to be like reading all of you. Usually I will be reading like one or two, okay? No, I mean like from five to ten and having this one on one conversation. Why? Because now we are in intermediate. Something that you must remember is this intermediate is a little bit heavier, okay? But uh, during the second and the third week, I will have the chance to have classes that are going to be mostly conversation class. In those classes, I will be giving you topics for you to talk, for you to discuss, for you to ask your classmates here in the main room. Perhaps I will give a topic to Josué Rodrigo and I will ask him, okay, Rodrigo, ask, Pick one of your classmates and start a conversation about this topic. 
Okay, we're going to be working like that. Uh, by the way, I'm sorry to 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 do this. Carlos Antonio, uh, stay at the end of the class for a few minutes. Okay, I will help you. Excuse is it me, possible? I is it possible for you to be to stay a couple of minutes at the end of the class? No, it's not impossible. I can stay at the okay. end. Okay, perfect. Yeah. So I can help okay. you with the point you you were asking me. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay, by the way, for tomorrow, and uh, let me see. For tomorrow, I have, uh, let's see, no, tomorrow, no, oh, tomorrow, no class, guys. Tomorrow, there's no English class because we have a day off. Tomorrow, it's, uh, I mean, Thursday, Thursday. Carla Lizeth Garcia. Okay, you stay at the end of the class on Thursday. After okay. the class, just for 10 minutes. And Jose Rodrigo. You stay with me at the end of the class on Friday. Oh, perfect, okay. perfect. Now, for next week, that is the seven. Uh, it's for Gabriel. Gabriel, el día lunes de la próxima semana, 10 minutos después de la clase. Okay. And Holman goes for Tuesday. Okay. 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 Next week. Now, the rest of the program, I will let you know on Friday. El resto del programa les aviso el viernes. Okay. So you don't forget, if I tell you right now, perhaps you will have forgotten for next week. So don't worry. I will let you know. Now, uh, let's see the activities for today. As I told you, we are going to work with a grammar point. We have a very interesting grammar point. But also, let me just do a little thingy here that um, I hate when this happens to me. Give me just one. I just need one minute, guys. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's just that um, my machine is acting up tonight. I don't know what's wrong. I guess it, as well as the owner, that could be a problem. But let's see, let's see, let's see. Just need to open this file. The computer and wanna take a rest. Yeah. Actually, this computer has been good, you know. Pretty good. Okay. Okay, yeah. I just needed to check something with the with my lesson plan and to check out how we're doing. Okay, we're doing fine. Now, if you remember yesterday, we were working with uh, comparatives, right? And I guess some of you were doing uh, some exercise. Some of you were doing some exercises with the platform, right? Now, let's make a small review. Okay. If you remember, if we have a, an adjective like fast, in order to make it into the, the into the, how do you call it? In order to make it comparative, you just add ER, right? Faster. Something else that you need to remember is that 
is not just adding the ER. You will also need or use after this the word then. You remember that if you had if you have like uh, a long, a long adjective like uh, comfortable. In this case, if it's more than two syllable adjective, what you do is you place right at the beginning more, which means that. Uh, uh, um, which means that the word. Whoopsie, more got the same meaning as the as the er. La palabra more and the word er. If you remember, they got exactly the same meaning. Something else that we need to remember, guys, okay, is that. There are some that are, they are known as uh, irregular adjectives. Among these are like be, good, bad, uh, far, okay? Why? Why are why are they irregular? Because they don't do not follow these two rules. They got their own form. In the case of big, if you notice, it changes because it duplicates, it doubles the last consonant bigger. In the case of good, the comparative of superiority is better. In the case of bad. It is worse. And in the case of far, it's farther. Uh, there's a rule for the ones that you are saying, Mister. We have adjectives like heavy or like happy. When an adjective ends in Y, and that Y is preceded by a consonant, termina en Y precedida por consonante, what you do is you get rid of the Y, you change it for I and L, E, R, happier or heavier, okay? But these, the ones that we got here, these are irregular, okay? Big, bigger, good, better, bad, worse, far, farther. Now, remember, good, bueno, mejor, bad, malo, peor. That's the comparative of superiority. But don't worry, don't worry. I have extra material that I'm going to send it to you. I'm going to share it with you so you can work with it. So you can like review it on your own time, don't worry. And of course, I will open a time for you to, to ask questions. Voy a abrir un momento para preguntas, okay? So don't worry about it. But today the grammar point is something different. But before we get into that, I need to get the second attendance because believe it or not, it's time. So let's see. Whoopsie. I'm gonna get the attendance in one second. Carlos Antonio Serrano Arias. Present teacher. Carlos Elivaldo Abrego Marmo. Present teacher. Edwin Alberto Rodriguez Lobo. Gabriel Beltran Perez. Present teacher. Ingrid Beatriz Natalia Palacios Molina. Ivan Petrovich Guzman Aquino. Present. Josué Rodrigo Ortiz Monterrosa. 
Juan Francisco Ayala Montano. Here I am, teacher. Okay. Holman Saúl Girón Sánchez. Present. Carla Lizeth García Lemos. Present, teacher. Thank you. Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabia. Present, teacher. Thank you, Ingrid. Luis Mario Criayo Guerrero. Thank you, Luis Antonio. Magdalena Escalante Orante. Nelson Antonio Rodas Rosales. Present, teacher. Orlando Francisco Núñez. Present, teacher. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Present, teacher. Rosalina Alvarado. Vilma Yesenia Alvarenga. Present, teacher. Thank you. Wilfredo Areval Ortiz. Present, teacher. Xiomara Elizabeth Cisneros Rosales. Present. Ivania Chamilet Domínguez Hernández. Present, teacher. Marlon Jonathan Gutiérrez Girón. Present, teacher. Okay. Thank you, guys. Let me see. Just one second. Okay, dogs. Now we're gonna go work with the manual. So if you got your manual handy, uh, we're gonna be working in page number 10, okay? Because we have one extra class. <clears throat> to finish. If you remember from yesterday, there was one exercise that we needed to review. Okay, here we go. Do you remember that yesterday we were working with the explanation? And if you remember, we were doing this exercise. So let's see. Sentence number one. Who can help me with this exercise? Antonio Eroda, thank you. Please read sentence number one. Delivery is delivery. More delivery. Delivery is more convenient than take up. Okay, yes. convenient, convenient. Convenient. Thank you. Ivan, number two. Okay, there, uh, how do you say? Beverages. Bear, beverages. Beverages. They beverages, thank you. Their beverages are Cheaper than the one from Salzburg. Okay. Cheaper than. Remember, cheaper than. Uh, uh, thank you. Yeah. Then. Cheaper than the ones from Starbox. Excellent. Thank you. Uh, Gustavo Ramirez, you got number three. Okay, this year. Uh, French restaurants are uh, more romantic than uh -huh. food restaurant. I'm sorry. French restaurants are more romantic than 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 yeah. fast yeah. food restaurants. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Bravo. Now let's see, let's see. Holman, Holman Sanchez, you got number four. Holman. 
Can you can you hear me? Yeah, I can. Oh, uh, number four. Yep. Um, the the buffet at Ming Lee's restaurant is more complete than chance. Okay, is more more complete, complete than. than and chance. The buffet at Ming Lee's restaurant is more complete than ten. Perfect. Thank you, Mister. Well done. Josué Rodrigo, you got number five. Their service is more is the faster is uh -huh. is the faster more yes. faster faster okay look is faster than then please continue reading then the restaurants we went to the last week okay excellent Xiomara Yes, teacher. Okay, Sumara, you got next one. Number six. The ambiance in Hades kitchen is. Uh, is, look. Is more. More, uh, more ap ap appealing. Appealing. Then, the food, uh -huh. the, the food they sell. Okay, the ambience in Habis Kitchen is more appealing than the food they sell. Perfect, thank you very much, Simara, well done. Let me read them all for you once again, guys. It goes like this. Delivery is more convenient than takeout. Their beverages are cheaper than the ones from Starbucks. French restaurants are more romantic then fast food restaurant. The buffet at Ming Lee's restaurant is more complete than Chan. Their service is faster than the restaurant we went to last week. The ambience in Habit Chicken is more appealing than the food they sell. Okay, interesting. Now let's see. Okay, let's see. Well, this is the grammar, but we are not going to get into that yet. Let's see. Gustavo, what's your favorite restaurant? Tell me. A teacher, my favorite restaurant is a, a local restaurant. It's called uh, Brisas del Mar. Okay, where do you live? I'm, I'm living by El Cuco, San Miguel. Oh, El Cuco? Yes. That's, well, that's hot. Yeah, really hot. <laughs> that's hot. But that's cool. At the yeah. same time, you know what I mean? If you get my dream. Okay, Brisa yeah. del Mar, let me see. Okay, tell me, why is it good? Why is it your favorite place? What's interesting about it? Uh, it's for the food. Is for me is the better mariscada and the best, the best mariscada. Okay. Now tell me, what about compare with the other restaurants? What about the price? The prices? Oh, the prices. Oh, yeah. Is is not. It's not a very pricey because it's it's really it, costoso. Expensive. Expensive, yeah. Thank you. It's really expensive and in comparison another restaurant, a local restaurant. Comparing, comparing, comparing with other restaurants. With other restaurants. 
um, it's the best for me because I don't like the, you can say, fast food restaurant, like a Pizza Hut, McDonald's, uh, Burger King. You know? I don't like it. Um, I think it's, it's better the natural food. Okay, natural, natural. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Now, let's see. Yesenia, welcome. Yesenia Alvarenga, hello. Oops, perhaps Yesenia can participate, but uh, let's see, Luis Antonio Abrego. Hello, mister. Sorry, guys. Hello, teacher. How are you? Very well, teacher. It is nice to see to see the guy again. Same here, same here. Nice seeing you again. Yes, How's everything? I, I could not be in class. Uh, yeah, we many, were missing you. Many difficult with a lot of difficulties. <laughs> Difficulties. Yes. Difficulties. I, I understand. I understand that. I mean, that happens. That happens. But it's good to have you here. Look, I'm asking some of your classmates, and now I'm asking you, what's your favorite restaurant and why? Uh, my favorite favorite restaurant is uh, okay, uh, from Caluco. <laughs> okay. It's, it's famous for the soap, soap de gallina. I, Famous with the sopa de gallina in India. I, I, I don't know. Come on, uh, man. Chicken <laughs> soup, gallina Chicken soup. India. You know, I hate that. Oh. <laughs> yes. You it's, know, it's, man, that is no good. It's no good. Well, not for me, not for me. So good for what? <laughs> it's I really... hate it. I hate it. Yeah, for real. I hate it. I cannot eat it. Ah, that's terrible. Well, what, what is the reason? I don't know, I don't like it. You know me, I, I barely tolerate, I can accept pupusa. I mean, I don't like them, but I accept them. I mean, pupusa okay. for me, it's like, I can live, I can live without pupusa. But in this, gallina, in this, gallina yeah. India is like <laughs> terrible for me. In this case, your family. Oh, well, they, here my family, they, they can eat pupusas every day and they are happy and i'm like oh, i don't like them i just don't like them okay. and gallina india uh, uh that's uh -huh. a big no no for me okay. it's like beef soup i cannot eat beef soup so for the rest it's something else that i don't like okay the, <laughs> the same as tamales i don't eat tamales <laughs> okay teacher Okay, well, so sopa de gallina India. That's your favorite dish. Um, for example, um, uh, your question is, ¿cuál, cuál es mi plato favorito? Yeah. Um, rice as arroz. Okay. And. This, uh, with a uh, with a uh, queso, como se dice, teacher? Cheese, 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 and and tortilla, como se dice? <laughs> tortilla, tortilla. You don't change yeah, tortilla. that. Tortilla. Yes, teacher. Only is <laughs> the li the the least Okay. Yes. Simple tastes. That's nice. That's nice. Thank you very much. Okay, teacher. Okay, guys. Now, if you see, I'm asking everybody, what's your favorite? Uh, what's your favorite restaurant? Why do you like it? As simple as that. Those are the questions you are going to be asking your classmates. You will have just three minutes for that exercise. It's going to be quite fast. Hello, Magdalena. Welcome. Hello, Rosalina. Nice having you here. It's good. It's good. You could make it. Excellent. Thank you, teacher, for your help. I'm no problem. No problem. 
Thank no you. problem. You know, guys, whenever you can make, if it's late, but you can still make it to the class, do it, do it. There's always the chance for us to practice. So let me get the groups. It's gonna be a small group so you can practice, okay? Let's jump in, three minutes. What's your favorite restaurant? Why do you like it? Just those two questions, okay? And let me check just one little detail. Okay, groups are open, three minutes. Catejo restaurant. Do you know Catejo? No. It's really a restaurant. You don't know Catejo restaurant? No. Yes. Shame on you, Carla. Shame <laughs> on you. Qué pena. <laughs> Carla, Catejo is like, uh, it's a good restaurant. It's the better, yes. in my opinion. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Mm -hmm. Even though Magdaleno enjoys a, a, a lemonade, a pesar que Magdaleno lo que disfruta es una limonada, but the food is good. Yes, I like And it's the... not that expensive. Yes, I have, bueno, I, I had a, a friend who, who was um, chief of uh, waiters. Waiters. Oh. And then when I when i when i pass to take and um, maybe lunch or dinner he 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 make me a discount oh that's good <laughs> yes <laughs> i i really love in cadejo and the cocktail the it's shrimp cocktail yes it's really good Okay, where is the restaurant? There are many well, branches. Yeah, the the one that I visited. But what is the most do you like over there? Amount rice. There's something special in there that you're you're attracted with. Mm, specialty, um, how do you say, eh, um, se llaman? Este, la, eh, unos, unos enrolladitos, ¿cómo se llama? No, well, that's the name. I don't have idea. Sushi, sushi, I like sushi. Sushi, oh, sushi. You like sushi? Mm. Yes. Okay. I love sushi. <laughs> You know, I, I eat have... sushi. I eat sushi, but I mean, for me, it's like, it's okay. Yeah. What about you? Do you like food? sushi? I don't like seafood. I don't know. Why, you don't what? I'm, I don't like seafood. Man, that's uh -huh. so sad. My favorite seafood is, uh, let's see, shark. Ceviche, shark, ceviche. The ceviche shark. Is long. Man, yeah, that's delicious. Mm -hmm. That's weird. Okay. I haven't heard. Uh, no, it's, it's delicious. It's delicious. I recommend it. Well, I love it. Okay. How it tastes? Actually, it's fish, but the, it's... It's a different taste. It's fish, but it's a little bit different. It's like, uh, I don't know. Have you eaten uh, It's anguila? like tilapia, ya, no. No, ya comido anguila? No. no, I haven't eaten. Okay. That's the problem. <laughs> That's what that... I said, I'm, I'm not good at seafood. That's why. Oh, I like it, I like it. 
Let me go check the rest of the groups, guys. Hey, right. include Xiomara. Xiomara's got to participate. Hi, Xiomara. Yeah, maybe she's not there. I, I, I can't see her. Oh, don't worry. We never see Xiomara, but we hear Xiomara. I, I do this to see her, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we sure. can reach her. Yeah, yeah. yo para ver si la logro, ¿eh? <laughs> El paisaje, ¿cómo se dice? What? Teacher? Paisaje. Oh. Eh, landscape. La landscape. Landscape. Okay. When you landscape. when you are in rest when you are teacher in uh, restaurant Las Brumas. Las Brumas. Oh no! What you love is the views. Lo que le the views. Son las yes. Views. The views. What's the difference but, between views and sight? The sight. I, re I remember the the song uh, uh, by the rivers of Babylon. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> And uh, the, um, the singer, oh, yeah, we went the when we remember Sion. Ah, uh, Sion is Sion, is Sion. Yeah. They remember be acceptable, be acceptable in the sight. And um, mirada, a su mirada. Mirada, no es vista, ante su vista, no es mirada. Puede ser ante su vista, ante su mirada, pero está viendo, está hablando de la... De la, de la, de la bueno, we say the... The way. El sentido, the, el sentido. Mm. O cuando lo ponemos en, en este lenguaje poético y en este contexto, eh, like this. Sería como cuando nosotros decimos from my point of view. Mm. No sé si okay. capta la idea del contexto. When you say, uh, bajo su mirada, under the sight of the Lord. Right now, Magdaleno, you are under the sight of the Lord. The sight of the Lord, la mirada del Señor. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Ese contexto es el que te usa ahí. Okay. Yes, you can say the sight, but it's more common to say the, the, the views. The views. The views. Yeah, in that context, the views. It's Okay. Thank you. Las brumas, where, where, where's the bruma? Is uh, is on the street of, uh, to volcano. Oh yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Yeah, that's okay. Carla, when yes. you when when uh, when did you visit Las Brumas? Um. Her boyfriend takes her every weekend, you know. You don't need to ask. <laughs> yes, every weekend, maybe. <laughs> no. <laughs> I think that Carla visits a lot of, of places yeah. every you weekend. Look, look, she's blushing. <laughs> yes, blushing. yes, it's like, yes. It's we, are, we, are, we are on target. We are on target, Magdalena. <laughs> Yes. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. <laughs> Carla, yeah. I don't think. Hey guys, 60 seconds.
Okay, sorry, 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 sorry. Now let's see. Mm -hmm. Rosalina, tell me about one of your classmates' favorite restaurants. Okay. Uh, Wilfredo, mm -hmm. say uh, she like uh, hey, oh, hey. he perdón, he likes uh I, you I forgot. forgot. Okay, ask him, please. But the, but the other, the, excuse oh, me, what is the name the, the restaurant, Wilfredo? Wilfredo, are you there? My restaurant favorite is Puerto Marico. Ex, My ex, favorite ex, restaurant. My favorite he restaurant. He said the favorite restaurant, Puerto Marisco, and uh, he prefer in the in that in that restaurant the seafood soup soup mariscada eso mm -hmm. excuse okay. me teacher i have a question yeah. the name mariscada no translation in english it's no because mariscada. it's a given name it's a given name it's un nombre propio de un platillo okay the, like, okay it's like tortilla i mean you uh -huh. cannot say tortilla because it doesn't exist in english so you say okay. tortilla mm -hmm. okay there is a i think about it the correct word that mariscada mm -hmm. okay. okay perfect thank you <laughs> okay antonio tell me about one of your classmates okay teacher and I was talking with with Oscar mm -hmm. and Gabriel. Uh, Gabriel Gabriel told told us that that he went to the El Mahawal. Okay. And and he buy a mariscada. Boat. Can what? Oh, boat. He bought, compro. Um, sorry, teacher. Yes, he bought a mariscada, and he told us it was was very very well for 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 his. And okay. also, Oscar told us that he he went to the bungalow. And he bought the sopa de gallina india. <laughs> yes, teacher. Unacceptable. Only... Unacceptable. Okay, thank you. Appreciate it. Okay, teacher. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Hmm, let's see. Magdaleno, talk to me. Uh, about my partner or about me? Sure, no, about your partner. Okay, I I was talking with Carla Lisette. Carla Lisette is um, a viajero. How do you say viajero? I don't remember. A the traveler? Word. A traveler. Carla oh. is a frequent traveler. And then oh, really? she, oh, she really? likes she likes uh, Las Brumas restaurant. She really loves the weather and the views from this place. Uh, you know, the view from the, the, the city. Yeah. Okay. Yes, and, is that and she frequently visited those type of our yes. establishment. Oh, yes, she, she frequently, frequently. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's, yeah, she well, really we are that. we are wondering if she goes alone or if she goes with someone. We better than us, right? Yeah, that is right. She is. Uh, she is wonderful. <laughs> okay, perfect. Thank you, Magdalena. Let's see. Okay, let's see. It's a pleasure. Jose Rodrigo, tell me about one of your partners, please. 
Okay. Um, I talked. I talked with Orlando and Gustavo. Um, they uh, like uh, hamburgers. They talk about. They talked about the difference in McDonald's and. Uh, I don't know how to say McDonald's. Hey, it's McDonald's, man. Uh -huh, and they like I we talk uh, about um, different taste taste in different places like um, Oriente, oh, and, uh, yeah. United States, and here. Yeah, hamburgers. You know, my favorite hamburger is the one that it's from Charlie Boys. Charlie Boys hamburger is. Uh, Merliot? Yeah. No, on the way to the, yeah. It's one in Merliot and the other one is on the way to, to, to the volcano. Man, it's big. I like that. Uh -huh. Yeah. If you need more references, you can ask Carla. She knows all those restaurants. People. And Carla goes like, no, 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 don't talk about me. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Let me continue. Thank you very much, Mr. Well done. Okay. Orlando. Tell me, please, about Josué. Josué Rodrigo. Josué Rodrigo. Let's see. Ah, we talk about the his uh, favorite restaurant, and he said that he went to picnic in the volcano, okay. and he really loved the pork ribs. He really loved the taste and the place there. And oh. Gustavo, he he's already told you about. Oh yeah, the the yeah, the, the soup, the mariscada. He, he loves it. Yeah, and that's okay. it. That's perfect. Thank you. Okay, guys. Uh, before continuing, let me see how many of us are here. Oh, man, how more a few minutes ago? But anyway. I need to, to, to explain something before I move on to the grammar explanation because the grammar explanation is going to be longer. Okay, for the last three classes of this module, if you remember this module is uh, five weeks, right? Remember, we are in intermediate, so it's a little bit longer. And you are going to have 50 hours with me. For the last week, for the fifth week, uh, I will prepare a program. And each one of you will have a sign. Three minutes to make a small presentation about any topic you want. Para que me hagan una presentación de cualquier tema. Related. Related. Let me see if I have it here. Let's see if estoy hablando bien or not. Okay. Related to food or restaurant. Food, restaurant, or the restaurant industry. About attention in a restaurant. We are going to be talking about this topic in the class. Okay, but each one of you will will talk. Perhaps you will present uh, to me the your favorite restaurant. Why do you like it? The, your favorite dish. What do you know about the preparation of that dish? Okay, you will have three minutes to do that. Okay, you're going to sell me the place, Van vender el lugar, and you're going to sell me one of the dishes. When I say you are going to sell me, you are going to make me want to go there and try it. If you don't want to talk about a real place, you can invent one. If you don't want to talk about an special dish, you can create one. Doesn't matter. But I want you to talk to me, okay? To talk to the class. So you're going to have three minutes for your presentation. Minimum two minutes. Lo menos que va a hablar son dos minutos. Max, three minutes, okay? 
That's going to be a special activity for the last week of classes. You will enjoy it. Don't worry. I will be reminding you every week if you need any help on pronunciation or in vocabulary, if you want me to check it before you are ready to present it, no problem. I'm here for you guys. Okay. Is there any question about the activity? ¿Alguna pregunta con actividad? Okay, just something else. You can just open your camera and start talking. You can, you can prepare a PPT for a PowerPoint presentation. That's okay. No hay ningún problema. As long as we don't use a third party content, siempre cuando no utilicemos contenido terceros. And you can do it, okay? Questions? No? When exactly we will do it? I'm sorry? When exactly we will do it? The fifth week of the course, the quinta semana del curso. We are talking about that this is the first, second, third, fourth, fifth. Uh, we are going to start the presentations the November the 20th. Eight from November the 28th to uh, December the 5th. Okay, I got it. So it's going to be fun. Believe me, it's going to be fun. Va a ser divertido. Okay, let's see. Let's continue. Let's see. No. Yes. Y podría mandar las especificaciones en WhatsApp. Yeah, sure, I will. No worry. Para de la actividad con toda la fecha y todo. Yeah, yeah, no worry, I will. I will. Okay. Okay, guys. Grammar. Okay. Coordinate, coordinating conjunctions. Okay. For you to remember the name of these coordinated conjunctions, you have to remember fanboys. Fanboys. They are called like that. They are called fanboys. Because fanboys stands for in, nor, but, or, yet, so. That's why they are fanboys. What are these words? Okay. Uh, they are used to join equal to one another. Look, equals to one another. We have words to words, phrases to phrases, or closest to closest. Remember, they, they are used to join, okay? In the case of word to word, we have an example here. Most children like cookies and milk. We are joining words to words, cookies and milk. Now, when it's the case of phrases to phrases, the goal is hidden at the beach or by the lakeside. Here we are joining phrase to another phrase. And they are equal. This is very interesting. They are equal. Close to close. What you say and what you do are two different things. In this case, close. Remember that a close is a, it's a sentence, actually. It can be dependent or independent. In this case, you're joining two clauses that are equal, they are dependent. What you say and what you do are two different things. Now, uh, they, they place it in the middle between between what they are joining, okay? I like coffee, but I don't like tea. We cannot say, but I don't like tea. I like coffee. Okay, that's incorrect. I like coffee, but I don't like tea. Tea is not of my liking. Remember, they go in between. That's the position. Okay, 
we have correlative conjunctions. We have either are, both, and, neither, nor, not only, but also. Look at the examples. In this case, it's Clara not only wants money, but also fame. Mm, okay, this is not correct. Clara wants not only money, but also fame. Look, in this case, something very interesting. Actually, you can say Clara not only wants money, but also fame. And you can make yourself understood, but this is the correct way. Clara wants not only money, but also fame. Or you can say Clara not only wants money, but also wants pain. So if you notice here, and the first one is not correct because if you place the verb after the conjunction, you need to place it also in the second one you are joining, you see? Clara wants neither money nor fame. That will be another example. Remember, neither. This is negative. Ni esto, ni lo otro tampoco. Either or, these are affirmative. O esto, o lo otro. Both, ambos. This and this. You know, I like both. Uh, Listen to music and reading books. Okay. Now, you can also use them to emphasize a choice. Look, either or. You can either stay here or come with us. You're emphasizing a choice. You got two options. Stay here, one option. Second option, come with us. You are emphasizing. You can either stay here or come with us. Both options are acceptable. It was either John or Peter who received your message. I don't know who, but it was either John or Peter. Either John or Peter received your message. Okay, in this case, look, either can be used at the beginning. But going like this, either John or Peter, you have the subject here. In most, in most cases, either can be omitted. You can say here, or come with us. In the same sentence, you can either stay here or come with us. You can stay here or come with us. What's the difference? Grammatically, none. The only difference is that with this one, you are uh, the emphasis is stronger. El inicio, el emphasis is más fuerte. Okay, that's the only difference. Now, neither nor gives a negative meaning to verbs. Neither Tara nor Peter was to blame for the mistake. Okay? So you're saying Tara was not to blame for the mistake. Peter was not to blame for the mistake. It's the negative meaning to the verb, neither. Remember that neither also means uh, tampoco, okay? That I liked neither Rome nor Paris. She prefers the countryside. She prefers the countryside. If a verb is already in the negative, then either or is used and not neither. This is very interesting. If you already have a sentence that is negative, Sarah didn't like either Rome or Paris. Okay? If it's negative, you cannot say neither. That would be double negation. Si la oración ya está negativo, no podemos utilizar neither. Sería una doble negación. That's not grammatically correct. Grammaticalmente eso no es correcto. Okay, up to here, questions. Este punto, pregunta. No? Okay. Neither, neither, teacher, neither uh, se, 
meaning meaning in Spanish eh, nada o nunca como tampoco o ni ah tampoco tampoco también puede ni significar ni. también puede significar ni ajá ni eh, a Sara ni. a Sara no le mira, gustó mira. ni ni Roma ni París ah okay thank you Okay, both and. These are used to parallelism. Excuse me, teacher. Yes. When you use neither, what is the meaning yes. then? When you put the neither at the beginning in the sentences? Ni. Ni. Okay. Ni Sarah, ni, ni Peter, eran culpables del error. O podían culparse del error. Ok. Ni, and the other one, Sarah. Sara. Mm -hmm. A Sara le gusta. It's just that, uh, remember, we are not translating. I know, okay. I know, but I, I'm trying to understand that. Ok. The If you want to understand because... the situation here is, a Sara no le gustó ni Roma ni París. Mm -hmm. And the other one, neither Sara nor Peter. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Okay. It's ni and ni. The thing is this, that in Spanish, we just use one word. In español solo the, usamos ni. Yeah. In that case, use two. But the, the, the meaning is the same. I understand. Yeah. Okay. Podría ser tanto. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tanto Sara ni Peter eran culpables. O podían culparse. Okay. Okay. But it, it's just that it's used for negative sentences where you don't have not. Mm -hmm. It's another mm -hmm. negative. No mm -hmm. not. Mm -hmm. But you cannot say Sarah didn't like neither Rome nor Paris. No, because if the verb is in the negative, we use either. Yes. Yes. I got it. Because Sarah didn't like either Rome. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, thank you, teacher. No problem. Nuestro so, español we, es más abierto. Nuestro español es más abierto a permitir decir eso. Ni tal cosa, ni yeah. tal cosa. Yeah. But in English, you are a little bit more specific. Yeah, in English, it's different because they... Okay, these are uh, two different words. Yeah. But actually, that makes English uh, easier to think. Lo vuelve más fácil para pensar. The fact that it's more specific. To think in English is easier than to think in Spanish. And that is a fact. Yes, on edge. Okay, let's continue. The game is suitable for both children and adults. Look, a parallelism. The game is suitable. It's appropriate for both, para ambos, children and adults. So the game is suitable for children and the game is suitable for others. He was both determined to beat the record and to win over the, cro the crowd. He was both determined to beat the record and to win over the crowd. Estaba determinado a to beat the record, a vencer el record y ganar el Uh, public, la gente que estaba ahí. Not only, but also the same. Look parallel. The word caused not only destruction and battle, but also generations of hatred between the two communities. The car not only is economical, but also feels good to drive. In this case, you can leave out also. You can omit the word also. I identify with Denzel Washington, with Denzel Washington, not only as an actor, but as a person, okay? You can erase here, but also. You can just say, but as a person. 
Okay, now, these conjunctions join independent clauses together. Remember, independent clause is an expression that by itself express a full idea. And these conjunctions are used to get them together. These verbs are usually used with them. Well, I'm sorry, these are these, the following are frequently used conjunctive, conjunctive adverbs. We have after all, also, as a result, besides, consequently, finally. Okay. For example, furthermore, hence, however, in addition, incidentally, indeed. In fact, in other words, instead, likewise, meanwhile, moreover, nevertheless, next, nonetheless, on the contrary, on the other hand, otherwise, feel, then, therefore, thus. And the example we got here is very simple. The tire was flat, therefore we call a service, a service station. It was a hot day. Nevertheless, the roofers worked on the project all day. These are very, very important and they help a lot, okay? How do you get them? Just through practice. You gotta use them. So, uh, Pick one and try to use it on a daily basis. Traten de convertirlas en parte de su vocabulario. Okay? Like, uh, if somebody tells you, hey, nice seeing you today. Likewise. De la misma manera. Okay? You know, the other day I was, uh, I was cleaning the car. Meanwhile, my son was, cleaning his bedroom, you see? Try to use them in simple situations. Subordinating conjunctions also join two clauses together, but in doing so, they make one clause dependent or subordinate. Now, in this case, if we use this one, we are making one of the sentences dependent of the other. After, although, as, as far as, as soon as, as if, as though, because, before, even if, even though, how, if, in as much as, in case, this in case you can, can be followed by that. In order, in so far as, in that, let, no matter how, no what, one, provided that, things, so that, supposing, then that the till this one till is contraction for until okay if you say till you're saying the same as until and we have here unless until when whenever where whatever whether while why okay you know that the time is never enough to explain them all i'm going to send them to you Tomorrow, I will send you an exercise related to them, simple. I am sure that right now you don't remember all of them. If you are lucky if you remember one or two. And if you remember one or two, that's great. Even though you should be able to remember more because if you remember, they are called fanboys. Fanboys, that's the name, right? Fanboys, okay. What's the F? Para que la F? Tell me. What does it represent? Que representa la F en fanboys? Four. Four, perfect. The A. La? N. N, great. The letter N. Nor. Nor, or neither. The letter B. But. But. Before. The letter O. Or. Present. Or. Present an alternative or a change. 
Yeah, but that's or. The letter Y. You remember? Yet. Yet. Good. And the letter S? So. Okay. So they are very simple. Don't worry. I, I will send you this presentation. Te voy a enviar la presentación as soon as we finish, okay? Don't worry about okay. it. You can check it out. And next class, we can discuss it. If something is not clear, ask. Si algo no queda claro, remember, guys, you can ask. That's the idea. Because that's how you help me. Así como se me ayuda. By asking me. By telling me, hey, look, this is not clear. So I can explain it. And perhaps the explanation I give to you helps another classmate or the whole class. Okay, guys? So before, believe it or not, our time has come. So before we finish, let me get the final attendance. Okay, Carlos Antonio Serrano Arias. Present. Carlos Elibaldo Abrego Marmol. Edwin Alberto Rodriguez Lobo. Gabriel Beltrán Pérez. Present. Gustavo Javier Ramírez Carranza. Here. Ingrid Beatriz Natalia Palacios Molina. Ivan Petrovich Guzman Aquino. Present. Holman Saúl Girón Sánchez. Present. Thank you. Josué Rodrigo Ortiz Monterrosa. Present, Jeff. Thank you. Juan Francisco Ayala Montano. Carla Lister. García Lemos. Present, teacher. Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabia. Present, teacher. Luis Mario Criollo Guerrero. Magdaleno Escalante Orantes. Present, teacher. Nelson Antonio Rodas Rosales. Thank you, Magdalena. Present teacher. Thank you, Nelson. Orlando Francisco Núñez. Present teacher. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Present teacher. Rosalina Alvarado. Present teacher. Thank you. Wilma Yesenia Alvarenga. Present teacher. Thank you. Wilfredo Arevalo Ortiz. Present teacher. Xiomara Elizabeth Cisnero Rosales. Thank you, Wilfredo. Xiomara. Ivania Xamile Domínguez Hernández. And Marlon Jonathan Gutierrez Girón. Present teacher. Thank you. Guys, it was a pleasure to have you here. See you Thursday. Bye bye. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. 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 Good Okay, Mr. Well, fluency, how to be fluent? Well, you need to practice more. Oh. And what you need to practice are like uh, all the skills, you know, reading, writing, speaking. Now, I will advise you to start with this. Okay, you working on a computer or on your cell phone? No. Okay, look. Look at this link, save it. Okay. If you go in can there. You send me, can you send me over the, let me see. Yeah, I got it. Over the chat, it? right? Yeah, in the Zoom chat. 
Okay. Okay, you see? Now, can you open it? It's, it, it's loading. Okay. okay, let me know as soon as you got it. Yeah, I got it already. Okay, what you got there? You got listening activity. Okay, yeah, if you click in listening. one of them, if you click in the first mm -hmm. one, it's about yeah, the student. Mm -hmm. We have okay. intermediate, difficult. Yeah, we are, we are in intermediate. Okay. You want me to go there? Intermediate? Okay, yes, please. Okay. Now? A student, the first, the first one says a student. Can you just scroll down? It's the value. How did the la primera come from a student? A student credit card. Yeah, a sure. Go ahead, card. click on it. Okay. Now? If you click on it, you're going to see, and if you scroll down, well, before you scroll down, I don't think it's the Yeah, yeah. You I, see, okay. got two options there. See, listening trip, back to intermediate quiz. The back to intermediate quiz sends you to the list. lo manda la list. The see the listening trip, hold on. Ya le explico para que se use. Okay. If you scroll down, you got free listening exercise, you got idioms, and you got listening exercise. Mm -hmm. You listen to an audio, and after you have listened to the audio, to the audio, you make an exercise. Now, when you finish the exercise, mm -hmm. I will advise you. If you are mm -hmm. all the way down, see about after you finish, mm -hmm. see listening trip. Okay. What are you going to do? Oh, you are going to listen and read, but that's at the end. Eso es para que ya haya terminado. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I need you to do me a favor. I need you to use this. Necesito que use esto. At least, well, at least one per day. Una por día. One? No more than two. No más de dos. Okay. One per day. Sometimes we get excited. A veces nos emocionamos. I know. No more, no more than two. Si se emociona, no más de dos. I'll tell you why. The vocabulary and the expressions you are going to see are intermediate, intermediate. But the problem is this, that sometimes we get excited with the exercise. And we go like one, two, three, four, eight different exercises. Now, at the end, yes, you have practical listening. You have practical understanding, but you don't remember the vocabulary. Whereas if you work one or two, Mientras trabajemos menos, es más fácil que recordemos vocabulario específico. And it's easier for us to include that vocabulary in our everyday speaking. Se vuelve más fácil incluir ese vocabulario en nuestra actividad diaria. Okay. Can you do me a favor? Yes, yeah, sure. Can you, send me, can you send me the link over my, my WhatsApp Cell please? Phones. Because I don't know. Okay. I don't, I don't have your I number you. identified. I, I need you. I need you to 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 send me a a, a message. Necesito que me envíen un mensaje. I send it to you already over the chat. Okay. Are you in the group? Yes. Ya está en el grupo. Okay. Give me one second there. What's your name? Carlos Antonio Serrano. Okay. Got it, right? Yeah, I got it. Okay. Look, mister. Uh, 
do it. In one week, I need you to tell me how the activity is going for you. Do you think it's working? If not, I will send you something extra to do, something different. Si gente que va muy lento, me avisa. Yo le mando algo distinto para que trabaje, ¿ok? Ok, I got it. Ok, mister, a pleasure. Un placer. Thank you. Appreciate no, thanks to you for staying here. See you, to, see you Thursday. See you Thursday. Bye bye. Ok, see you. Bye bye. Thank you for everything. Ah, thanks to you. No problem. Okay, that's it for tonight. See you tomorrow.